Hey Salem, today we're going to be discussing Matthew chapter 15 and 16, and I think it's a few points that I'm going to highlight to help us get through the fast. In Matthew chapter 15, we find Jesus going across the land doing good, and the Pharisees stop Jesus and say, hey Jesus, Jesus, your disciples don't wash their hands before they eat. Jesus went on to explain to the Pharisees that, hey, it's not the outer things that you should focus on, but the inner. It's the inner things that defile a man. Jesus tells us to focus on what's going on internally in our hearts rather than the external. And then Jesus goes on, continues doing good. As he's going through the land, a woman from Canaan approaches him and says, hey, Jesus, my daughter is sick with, and she's possessed and vexed by a demon. Matter of fact, she's grievously vexed. Uh, could you help? Jesus didn't say a word to her. She continued to press to Jesus, and, she, and Jesus finally responds to her, and Jesus says, I'm paraphrasing here, Jesus said, hey, you're not part of the children of Israel. I, 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 can't, I can't do that for you. Her response was, the dogs eat the crumbs from their master's table. And, and she approached Jesus not based on who she was, but according to his mercy. And I think that's a good way we can approach God during this fast, not according to our own behavior, but because of his mercy. And then later on in Matthew chapter 16, we find Jesus at the table with his disciples or hanging out with his disciples. Jesus says, who do men say I am? Peter responds, says, some says you Elias, some says you John the Baptist, some say you one of the prophets. Jesus turns around and say, who do you say I am? Peter says, you're the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus says, whoa, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my father, which is in heaven. Look. If we approach this fast by, A, focusing on what's going on on the inside, focus on having a clean heart, B, approach God based, praying to God based on his mercy. And the last point I want to make, C, knowing who God is. Jesus is the Christ, the son of the living God. He's the one that's able to do exceeding abundantly above all we can ask or think. Let us pray. Father in heaven, thank you for your grace, your goodness, and your mercy. Lord, I pray that you would strengthen us during this fast, that we may see your face and that you will be glorified in our lives. Let the words of our mouths and the meditations of our heart be pleasing and acceptable in your sight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.